All right, welcome everybody. So, oh, I have a lot of papers here. So today is front walkovers. Here we go. It's kind of a shorter list. I mean, there's a lot of the same stuff that was on the handstands, the back walkovers, the cartwheels. So, um, let me see if there's anything I need to show you before we go. I mean, there's nothing really that crazy. Um, so I don't have any more planned after this one. I'm thinking I want to do like a leap, jump, flexibility, turn type of circuit, but I'm not sure how I want to do that. So if you have any ideas, let me know. If you have any other ones that you want to do, if you can come up with some other ones, like, um, I'm trying to think. I don't have anything left to talk about. So if you come up with a different idea that you would like to do, let's do it. Um, you can email Katie or on the Zooms, you can let us know. I think you can like private message, so if you just like type in the chat towards just me, or you can say it just in general, I don't really care. But, so, like I did for the other videos, I'm going to cut down the numbers just so that and the video is not like 40 minutes long, right? It won't take you 40 minutes, but the amount that I talk and stop and correct and critique, it'll look like it takes a long time, but it won't. Oh, I look really tiny if I sit down. But it shouldn't take that long if you're doing it right and you're just getting it over with. This one shouldn't take that long anyway because it's a shorter list, but this one's for anybody. So rec girls, teen girls, um, summer kids, whatever you want, this one, you guys can do this one too. So it goes all the way up to a front walkover, but if you don't have your front walkover, then you can stop wherever. So like we get to like a handstand fall to a bridge. So if that's all you got and that's all, that's like the hardest skill that you're working on right now, perfect. You just work up to that spot. If you're still working on your handstands, we have stuff all the way up to a handstand. So when if you hit your handstand and you're still working on it, perfect. Just end right there. and Or you can keep going and try some other stuff like um, handstands against the wall, stuff like that. So do what you can. Make sure you're doing conditioning. Okay, You don't even have to follow my videos. I don't really care. I just put the videos out there. Just... Because they're a little bit more gymnastics related and really focusing on the muscles that we need a lot for gymnastics. So a lot of abs, a lot of legs, a lot of arms, right? So just focus on those strong areas that we really got to hit hard. Okay, so there's not really anything that I need to show you before we start. Because sometimes I like to show you before we start just so you know what it is. But make sure you're doing these right. I know I say this every single time, but I, it, you have to drill it into your head that if you do them but do them wrong, it's only hurting you, right? So if you get like halfway through and you're like, I'm done with this, I don't want to do it anymore, then just stop doing them. Don't just keep don't keep going if you're not gonna try, because that's just gonna teach bad habits. And these like lists are so easy, so easy to build that muscle memory. It's like 15 T levers. So when you do them and you do them right, you're teaching your core, you're teaching your legs. It's drilling that into your head so that when you do a back handspring, you don't even have to think about straightening your legs. They just boom are straight because it's so drilled into your head from T levers, handstands. Cartwheels, back walkovers, round offs, just the easier basic skills. That's what we have to do to teach our brain. And if you do them right, when we go back to practice, hopefully very soon, then we can just kind of move right into those new skills. We don't have to go back and relearn and reteach our brains. If we're just keeping up doing what we can during like the break, perfect. So. And you guys can keep doing these conditioning and basic videos even when we do have practice. Like, 
you can do a conditioning on the weekend or you can do flexibility on the weekend or if you want to really work on your front walkover or your back walkover you have the videos so it's not like as soon as you go back to practice you stop doing things you can keep going you can you can do these on the same day we have practice you can do one before practice and then come in and we can keep working on it right so hopefully i will come up with some more videos soon but let's get started so our first one is a 10 second lunge on each leg three times we do this for every single one okay this is getting our body ready make sure you stretch stretch i already did my stretching before make sure you stretch this is just getting your body warmed up and ready for skills so make sure you do these right it's not the biggest thing we're worried about but also make sure you're doing it right so make sure your front foot's not turned in you want it turned out just a little bit your back foot not a huge lunge here lean forward just a little bit and squeeze your booty one two three four five six seven eight nine ten all right other leg this isn't your finish so when i say lunge this is like i did my handstand I lunge and hold, and then finish. They're two different things. Okay, go to your other leg. Go, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, go ahead and do two more on each leg. Now we're gonna do T levers. So, we're gonna do 10 on each leg. I'm gonna do one on each leg. We do two levers all the time. I don't think we really need to watch me do 10 of them. Make sure though, you can kick into these. A kick would be really good to um, do into these. So if you kick, lunge, here, mark, T lever, and up. Make sure you lunge, then finish, not finish, lunge. I don't know why you do it in the other order. That's weird. Okay. So that's one on one leg. Kick, lunge, T mark, T lever, T mark, lunge, finish. All right, go ahead and do nine more on each leg. I just don't want to do like 100 because then everybody's just bored watching me do them. All right, we're going to do three 10 second bridge holds. So you're going to do a 10 second bridge hold, come down, and then you're going to do it two more times. I'm just going to do one bridge hold for 10 seconds. I don't think you needed to watch me do it. You can get up into your bridge any way you want. You can walk down the wall into a bridge. You can handstand, fall to a bridge, back bend, push up, whatever you want. I'm just kind of do one of these things. Make sure your legs are straight. One, two, three, four. And ten. Go ahead and come down. Um, do two more for 10 seconds. Ooh, we have a 30 second split on each leg. All right, I'm just gonna do one leg. So you can go back and you can use the 30 second time if you want to, I don't really care. Or you can count on your own. I count on my own, but. I'm really bad at counting, so if you haven't really realized that by now, I'm horrible at counting. All right, go. Make sure when you do these, your back needs turned under. Your hips are square. So if you need to figure out if your hips are square, hips, they should be pointing forward. Front leg straight. You should squeeze it and see those muscles. Your arms should be up, out, back. If your hands are on the ground, though, make sure your fingers are forward. I don't know why. I don't know what the difference is, but it works it more. Oh, I'm going to that. All right, how many did I say? Two on each leg? Yes, so do one more on your bad leg or your other leg, whatever one you did, and then go ahead and do those again. So we have handstands. Is this a better angle? I can't tell if this is a better angle, probably not. 10 handstands on each leg, so. I'll do one on each leg, is that fair? My handwriting, I get confused on what I write. All right. We really worked on these handstands in the handstand video, so make sure these handstands are gorgeous. 
kick into your lunge. Two more. One. And I'll do my leg. My bad leg, my handstand on my left leg is still there. Oh my gosh. Okay, let me try that again. If you fall, please do it again. Don't count bad ones. Okay, I guess I'll do my other Um, nine more on each leg. Um, the heck is a lock down that bridge? Oh, yeah, okay. I write stuff and then I don't remember what I write. So that's my issue here. Let me move this stuff. So, a walk down bridge is at the wall. Okay, these are really good. You gotta really work on those shoulder flexibility. That's what a walk down a bridge is. <laughs> I don't know why I wrote it like that. It's really weird. Um, this is good to teach you that starting with your feet together and opening those hips. A lot of us try to go like from our lower back kind of. It's our armpits and our hips. Open. Don't just like lean back. You can't just lean back in a wheel. You gotta like Open. Okay, so I'm just gonna do one. I don't really think you need to watch me do 100. Maybe I'll do two, maybe I'll do three. Who knows? Arms up, up here, nice and tall. Walk down the wall. Push those armpits towards the wall. And then walk back up. Make sure you stand all the way up here before you go again, so you're not holding an arch for a super long time, that's gonna really hurt your back. So stand all the way up before you do it again. All right, I'll do another one. Open, 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 open. Push those armpits. You wanna try to smash your face to the wall, so if this is the wall, you wanna have to like push your face against it because your armpits should be touching the wall when you're upside down in your bridge. That's how you're really gonna work those that shoulder flexibility. That was really weird. Why did I like hold my head like that? Okay, so we have back bend stand ups now. You can push up to a bridge and stand up, or you can back bend stand up. Um, I'm gonna do some rock and rolls really quick. Make sure you're definitely stretching your back and um, your wrists and your shoulders. So if they're getting sore, stop. Stretch them or reevaluate. So if my wrists are getting super duper sore, like painful, I'm probably doing something wrong or I'm landing really hard on them. Like same thing with my shoulders. If my shoulders are starting to get a little like tingly and sore and like hurting, like you know there's a difference between like sore and like hurt. Like things should be pain, like hurt, like you're sore, it's working, but it shouldn't be like painful like shooting, stabbing, numbing, tingling, pain. Like you know your body, you know there's a difference. So if it's that tough pain that like something's going wrong, stop, pay attention to what you're doing, stretch, and like if it hurts just don't do it. Okay? Just wait until you have a coach with you who can tell you, hey, you're doing this wrong or you're not doing anything wrong and you just have bad shoulders. Right? Okay. So I'm just going to push up to a bridge and then stand up. You can do a background stand up or don't do a handstand fall to a bridge stand up because we're doing that in like three things. So I would just say just push up to a bridge and stand up. That's going to be the easiest, most basic thing that we're going to work on. When you stand up, make sure you're not holding your head up though. Your head should be like one of the last things to come up. You should watch your fingertips come up behind you and then finish, okay? Push up your ridge. And stand up. Try to stand up with your feet together if you can. So push up to your bridge. finish. Go ahead and do finish your 10, so do eight more. 
if you're following mine. So, now we're going to do bridge rocks for 15 seconds. You're going to do it twice, so you're going to have 30 second bridge rocks. Come down after 15 seconds, though. Don't do full 30 seconds in a bridge. Your wrists and your back and your shoulders are going to be a little sore. They're going to start hurting a little bit, so don't do 30 seconds. That's just going to make it worse. Do 15, come down, shake your wrists out, stretch your neck, your shoulders. Do some of uh, what I call these meows. You know, like this, like a cat. Yeah. And just stretch your back out. It's kind of weird, but I don't know. So when you do your bridge rocks, it's really stretching those shoulders, pushing them open, pushing our hips open, really getting that shoulder flexibility. You have to have, like, good shoulder flexibility. Like if you do bridge, you're going to want your armpits to touch the wall. That's how flexible our shoulders need to be. Okay, that was a creepy smile. Sorry, everyone. Okay, so, bridge rock, you're doing back bend, you do whatever you want. I don't really care what your legs look like. Push those shoulders open, though. Two, three, It doesn't really matter if your legs are straight or your feet are together. It's really just focusing on those hip flexors, shoulder flexibility, pushing and pulling. Okay. We have handstand fall to a bridge next. Do your other bridge rock if you need to, if you want to. Or you can skip that one. I mean, it's a bridge rock. It's If you already have good shoulder flexibility, then that's not really doing a whole lot. But it's still a super good thing to work on. I feel like you can always get more flexible. What was I saying? Oh yeah, bridge. Fall to a bridge. Handstand, fall to a bridge. When you do these, make sure you are having strong arms. You don't want to just collapse and smash your head. Make sure when you land, it's softly. A front walkover is a graceful skill. It should be slow and controlled. It should be graceful, elegant. Pretty, right? Not like falling down, choppy, and gross. Okay. Handstand fall to a bridge. Make sure you do a handstand and try to hold it first. So your handstand. Fall to a bridge. Are we doing stand ups? I don't remember. No. <laughs> okay. So if you don't have your handstand stand up, you know what? Oh yeah, it's just handstand fall to a bridge. No stand up. We just have to focus on the fall to a bridge part. So trying to open those shoulders and push. So handstand. Bridge. You can come down slow or just roll out. Don't do your stand up yet. That's a different one. I mean, I guess you can, but you're gonna have to be like pulling it in there. Handstand. Bridge. No. Okay. Our next one is handstand, and you're gonna fall to a one leg bridge. Or if you can't fall to a one leg bridge, I've never even tried this. Actually, I have. Ooh. So, you're going to fall to a one leg bridge. If you can't fall to a one leg bridge, you're going to fall to a bridge and then hold one leg up. Nice straight pointed leg. Try to fall onto one leg. Um, I would say your bad leg because that's the leg you're going to stand up out of your front walkover on. Or if you're like ambidextrous. I don't think that's what it is with both legs. Ambidextrous. I don't know. But if you like switch your legs and do stand up on your good leg then do that that's fine too okay a little cute handstand fall to a uh, one leg bridge handstand pinky fall oh my god it wasn't supposed to go that way <laughs> okay i'll do one more so you can kind of see it if you already have your front walk over this shouldn't be a huge challenge I'm 
Let's just have to waste time with that. <laughs> oh, that was kind of weird. Okay, now you're gonna do your handstand bridge stand ups. So, on here, there's two different ones. It says handstand bridge stand up, and then a handstand one leg stand up. You can, if you already have your handstand bridge stand up and you did that at the beginning when we did handstand fall to a bridge, then do handstand bridge one leg stand ups. Okay? If you did 10 handstand fall to a bridge, come down, now is when you do your handstand stand ups. Okay? So I'm going to do one handstand fall to a bridge stand up, and then I'll do one handstand fall to a bridge one leg stand up. Okay? So, oh yeah, handstand bridge stand up. Handstand, my shirt touch. Yes. Handstand. Stand up. You can't even see that. That was weird. Can you see it? I don't know. Okay, I'm going to do a handstand one leg stand up. So, handstand, can you see it? Yeah. Okay, anyway, you get the idea. So now we have 10 front walk overs. So I'll do my front walk over from like 30 different angles. I am pretty proud of my front walk over. I think I have a nice front walk over. I did. Instead of a back walk over or back answering in my boom routine, I did a front walk over on the beam. So I don't know. I like, I like front walk overs. So when you do your front walk over, it's in control. You also need to wait until this foot, so if I'm by that bridge, I have to wait until this foot <laughs> hits the ground before I try to pick my hands up. Otherwise, it's going to be like kind of a front hand swing step out type of deal. That's not what we want. We want a front walk over, slow, smooth, in control. When you come out, you got to hold that leg up, way up here, leg straight, so you hold it up. Okay, so I don't know where the best spot to do this or that, but I don't know. I guess we'll try right here. So go ahead and do your 10 front walk overs. Um, make sure they're nice, pretty, in control. Front walk over here. And then come out. I can't tell if you can see that or not. I got to see this way. So, here. Go and stand up. I'll do another one so you can see. Neat. I like front walkers. Here. Front walker. You got ten. Um, when you're done, make sure you stretch a little bit. Your wrists and your back and your shoulders took a lot of uh, took a lot of the beating here today. So make sure you're stretching them. If they're really hurting, ice or heat. But if you have to ice them after this, I wouldn't do it again. Just saying. Ooh, it's almost time to eat. I'm really hungry. I don't know. I need it a lot. <laughs> Um, if you have any more ideas of videos that you'd like to do, hopefully I will get like a leap, jump, turn kind of video going so we can keep working on those um, other basic skills. If you have more, like the handstand cartless for walking or back walking type of deal that you'd like to do, I are, these four are the only ones I had written already, but I will brainstorm some ideas and come up with some more. Because I think people are watching them, but I can't really tell. I still don't know what's going on with the comment thing. I don't know if you can comment. Sometimes I can see comments. Sometimes I can't. Sometimes I don't know. So, if you can comment, just do like a thumbs up or like a smiley face or like an exclamation point or something. So I know that you watched it and you did the video. That would be really helpful. So I know people are actually doing these. Um, I think that's it. Um... I do have a lot of stuff for the prize box when we go back, just so you know. I've been like slowly finding like little things that, like if my mom goes to the grocery store, I'll have her pick up some scrunchies or like before this whole coronavirus thing started, I had 
already had a bunch of stuff. I had those fun Easter slimes and pencils and stuff, but Easter's long gone. But who knows? We can use them next year, I guess. But yeah, I have like fun lip balms. I have some nail polish, I think. I have some slime. I have scrunchies. I think I have lots of bouncy balls. Um, so hopefully when we go back, we can keep doing the prize box. And, ooh, maybe a good one would be if you comment on a video, then you can get a prize out of the prize box. Nah, I don't know. But keep working on your splits, your bridges, your handstands. If you don't do the videos, you need to do something. Okay? Find another workout video, find another coach, find another, like, workout trainer. If you have stuff for, like, gym class at school, make sure you're doing that. Okay? You have to do something to stay active, okay? Go on a hike, go on a run, go take your dog on a walk, go jump on the trampoline, go go swimming if you can. You have to be doing something to keep your body active. Preferably something related to gymnastics. So these gymnastics videos, I know there's some been some other coaches that have done some at home fun, easy workouts, easy drills, you know, they're on the Facebook page, there's I know the Y is doing stuff, like not even gymnastics coaches, some of like the workout yoga ninja instructors have been putting stuff on there, so make sure you're following those too, okay? There's plenty of stuff. There's no reason that when we go back to practice, we're all out of shape now, right? It's obviously, it's inevitable that we're going to get behind a little bit, but we want to make sure we are not getting so far behind, it's impossible to catch back up. Right. All right. So this is a super long video. Sorry. I, do, I talk a lot. I, I talk a lot. I know I do. I, I know I do. But make sure you're staying safe. We miss you. All of the coaches, we miss you incredibly a lot. I'm ready to go back. I'm ready to get some sass. I know when we come back, we're all going to be full of it. I'm ready to see some uh, new skills, ready to give out some hugs. You know I'm not a hugger, but when we go back, I will let everybody hug. I will hug everybody when we can. So, hopefully you're staying safe. Um, we're, all the coaches are thinking about you, making sure we're doing what we can. Um, stay safe, I guess. Um, I don't really have anything else. I'll come up with some more videos, but if you have any, let me know. I'll see you in the next video if I do one. Hopefully I do.